What up, y'all? It's Timmy. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you my mobile office and also how I put my YouTube videos together. Let's check it out. Welcome to Truck House Lab, baby. First things first, gonna go find a spot to uh, work for the day. So let's go find it. Alrighty, I think we found ourselves a spot up here. This is the one sketchy thing about Seward Highway. If you're trying to turn in somewhere, I literally have to stop my truck on the highway and wait till I can turn in. Kind of sketchy. Absolutely beautiful day. Let me get my laptop and we'll step inside show you guys uh, how I do it. One of the biggest advantages of having your office on wheels is you can work anywhere. So I can come out to uh, some kind of nature. I mean, there's a highway right there, but there's still some nature going on. And yeah, I can just enjoy my work here. Take in all these views out my office window. All right, come on inside. So first thing I always do when I get in here, I'll come back here, hit the thermostat, and get some heat going really quick. But uh, then I'm cheap, I don't wanna keep the propane heat going, so we'll get this wood stove going really quick, warm up the office, and get to work. Wood to throw on top that I've split, and jam it in there. Use the old torch, because it's fast, and hit it. Make sure that drafts all the way open. All right, should start getting toasty in here really soon. Before we get any further, I mean, let's admire our surroundings. We've got ourselves a nice fire going. We've got our office view out here, not too shabby. Office view out the front, not too shabby. Good work environment to be productive. Let's get started. I never considered myself a YouTuber, but as of recently, I've started to make a lot more videos, so I guess that's what I'm becoming. At this time, YouTube is not my only source of revenue. Recently, my YouTube has really started to pick up quite a bit, and it's really awesome. It's a cool feeling because I enjoy making these videos no matter what. I've always enjoyed filming. If you guys look back at some of my really old stuff, I started uh, filming YouTube stuff back when the YouTube platform actually came out back in the early 2000s. Took a long break, but been getting back into it again because decent camera equipment is a lot more affordable now, and I just have a little more time to start doing vlogging and how-to videos and adventure videos. And yeah, it's just a way of uh, art and expression to me, so I enjoy doing it personally. So anyhow, I'm gonna show you guys really briefly what I do to produce a YouTube video and get it out to the world, so let's do it. Set up the office. First thing you're gonna need is a laptop. I personally use a Mac PowerBook it's a 13 inch screen on it, so pretty tiny. And they're pretty legit little laptops, pretty powerful. The only problem I've noticed with these MacBooks is they overheat super easy. I'll often throw like ice packs or a bag of frozen peas or something or a couple beers, I'll put it up under the laptop to cool the CPU off. So that's kind of a pain. Hopefully Apple will get on that. Next thing I use is an external hard drive. These are kind of expensive, not really. They're like $100. Uh, this is a four terabyte hard drive. These are a little bit cheaper if you get them off the internet, I've noticed. So avoid the big box stores and just get them online. You'll get them like 30, 40% cheaper than you'd pay in a big store. This store is all my video footage. So your laptop, if you try to save everything on it, especially if you're shooting with high quality video, it's going to get too full and get really slow. I try to upload all my video footage to this external hard drive and work from the external hard drive. So this little thing will read the SD card that's in this camera right now. And I'll take that footage, put it on this hard drive and start editing. Let's check on our fire over here. I think we're rolling. All right, so let's get into this. One more essential piece of equipment in my office is my cutting board, otherwise known as my desk. So I usually put the laptop on this to keep it nice and cool. So let's go on and do that. Park our hard drive in here and get the business. 
So the program I use to edit my videos is Final Cut Pro. The main reason is because Final Cut Pro is Mac specific and it works really seamlessly with the Mac. If you know how to use iMovie, which comes on all Mac computers, then you can totally use Final Cut. It's a little more complicated and there's a lot more stuff you can do with it. It's a much more powerful program for editing, but it's uh, really the same workflow. All right, I've already got some brand new content uploaded to this hard drive that I've already filmed and you guys haven't seen it, but let's, uh, let's pull it up and I'll kind of show you what I go through. So we're gonna go down here to the Final Cut Pro. Oh, there's that last video with the mullet and whatnot. So the first thing you need to do when you get to Final Cut is you need to create a new library to keep all your files in. So let's do that. A file, new, and library. All right, then let's go ahead and name this file Camper Wood. Because that's kind of what it's about. And save it. So after you create a new library in Final Cut, go right back up to File, click on New, and project, you need to create your project that you're gonna actually work with. Let's call that Camperwood also. All right, so here we go, everything's gonna be blank. So once you get your new project created, the first thing you need to do is upload footage to it. So, real easy, you go over here to File, go down to Import, Media. So now my media, I'm searching inside of my hard drive here. And let's go ahead and upload all of those. There's a whole bunch of them. All right. And they are imported. So in Final Cut, you have your viewing area. So this area here will show you your footage that you're dealing with. And down here, you have your timeline. So in your timeline, you drag these clips that you want down into your timeline. You drop them. You can zoom in pretty easily. And essentially what you do with your clip is just find where you want it to start and where you want it to end. So let's do that. Hit spacebar to start playing it. Good morning. All right, right there. So I'm saying good morning. So let's zoom into that a little closer. And you don't want this blank spot before. Good morning. So all this blank area before I'm talking, good. I want to get rid of that. So let's find exactly when I say good morning. Good morning. Right there. And usually I'll go back until I'm not talking you can hear that and once you find that spot you click there you want to slice the clip right there so there's a command for that it's command B it's the blade tool and now I'll see how the area I don't want is highlighted so all I have to do is click on it make sure it's highlighted and delete it now check it out good morning y'all it's here it is. Good morning, y'all. It's Timmy. It's the first day of the season. All right. So you basically continue on just editing like that. A lot of times your sound is not going to be equal throughout the clips. So you have to go back and listen to all your sound and bring it up in some clips and down in some clips. Um, if you want to add music. So let's add music right in here just for the background. So let's go up here to the music tab. Click on it. And here's some music. And let's just check this one out, let's see. All right, I like that, let's, so when you find that song you want, you drag it down and you drop it in right below where you want it to start. Here's what it sounds like. Timmy, it's the first day of the season. We're gonna go up. You see how the music was just over my voice, so if I wanna bring the music down, I click on the music bar and just drag it down just a little bit so it's just in the background. Now let's listen to it. Me, it's the first day of the season. We're gonna go uh, snow machining. So that's how you add music. If you want to add effects, so let's say I'm trying to get more subscribers. Um, I've got these different little subscriber tabs, so um, you can do stuff like this. So let's just drag this one down, drop it in there, and you can adjust uh, how long it says like and subscribe. So let's shorten it up a whole bunch. Oh, well, it's Timmy. It's the first day of the season. We're gonna go uh, snow machining. There you go, pretty cool. Anywho, this is what I do for hours and hours on end. So uh, yeah, not only do I have to go film whatever I'm trying to uh, capture, I have to come back and edit the thing. And uh, the next step is to process the whole thing as a video, and then I have to go upload it somewhere. So uh, my cell phone, it takes too much uh, data up to upload videos. So I usually try to find like 
public Wi-Fi, such as a public library is a great place, or like subways, you can pull up outside of those. Uh, just wherever you can get internet access through uh, Wi-Fi. So let's go do that. Here she is, the old local public library. So uh, let's pull in here and uh, get back to business here. Oh, the fire's doing pretty good still. Alrighty, here we are at the local public library. And what we're gonna do here is finish this video. So what we're gonna do here is pull up a recent video that I just made and we are going to finalize it. What you wanna do, I'm gonna go into Final Cut and we're gonna go click on the whole video project. We're gonna go up to File, Share, Export the file. And I'll just save it as uh, the highest quality thing I can get. Now that I've finished this new video, the computer is going to get super hot while it's processing the final video to upload to YouTube. So what I do is take an ice pack out of my freezer right down here, and I'll actually throw it up under the laptop, like so. I know this is pretty lame, but that's what I do, and that keeps the computer from overheating. I've also noticed my battery power, it really chews up a bunch of battery power to use Final Cut. So I'm gonna fire up this little Rock Palace 300 watt uh, portable power station and hook my Mac into that. Plug her in. And there we go, she's charging. So this process usually takes about 30 minutes to write the video, you could say. So I'll hang out and do other work while that's happening. So once Final Cut is done processing this video, it'll be ready to put on YouTube. And then I'll take you guys to that step really quick. All right, here we go. Final Cut just finished importing the video. Share is successful, so let's close that out. So now that Final Cut's done, nothing's overheating anymore, so I'm gonna remove my little ice pack. So let's go into YouTube. And we're gonna go over here. So I'm logged into YouTube. I'm gonna go to Create, that little guy right there. And we're gonna go Upload Video. It's gonna bring me to this page and I'm going to select my video that I wanna upload, which is that one I just made. And I just selected it. And then YouTube automatically starts uploading the video. It shows you your percentage right down there and how fast it's uploading. Meanwhile, I have to figure out my title, description. I'm gonna upload my thumbnail right here, which is right there. You get to select your audience, choose whether or not it's for kids, it's not for kids. You're gonna go into here and you have to set all the tags, that way people can find your video and search for it. You get to choose whether or not it's monetized, right there, and then you have to choose when to upload it. So that's basically the process. That's a day in the office. I probably spent about, I'd say four to six hours editing this video that I'm working on now. And now I'm gonna sit here and let it upload to YouTube for another hour or two. And uh, while that's uploading, I enter all this information so it's ready to go on YouTube. So that's basically a day in my office, what it's like to sit here for hours and hours and edit a video, then find a place to upload it, and then upload it to YouTube and get it ready to show you guys. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. That is a day in my mobile office, and I really enjoy it. I honestly do enjoy doing this. It's uh. It's a fun way to spend time, especially when it's nasty weather and stuff like that outside. But uh, I, I truly enjoy editing videos and it's fun to be creative in a different way, different outlet like that. So there you go, guys. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way you can see more of my videos and maybe another one of my videos will help you or you'll enjoy it. And that's all I got. Until next time, peace y'all. Thank you.